y'all know my fucking hairline is literally receding like I'm LeBron James. guys welcome back to the vlog this portion of today's video is sponsored by tallow jewelry they were kind enough to send me two pieces of jewelry that i'm really surprised at the quality you guys they came in these gorgeous gift boxes perfect if you want to gift a friend or a loved one for any holiday birthday christmas whatever anniversary you guys they have beautiful jewelry you guys. oh my god they were kind enough to send me two items they sent me a bracelet and they also sent me a necklace that comes in this gorgeous box. Just a blue satin box. And everything is just giving high quality, y'all. Even the gift box is giving high quality. If you would like to shop with Italo Jewelry, I'll leave them linked down below. They're also right now currently having anniversary sale. I'll leave a coupon code down below if you guys are interested as well using my code. They have wedding bands, wedding sets. They have earrings, bracelets, jewelry, everything you can imagine. They allowed me to pick out two items and I picked out a bracelet and a necklace. This bracelet is so beautiful. Each order comes with a silver polishing cloth, you guys, so you can polish your jewelry and this is made out of very high quality cotton it also comes with a sterling silver certificate it just shows that you got your item from italo jewelry and that it passed their test next it also comes with their 60 day return policy if you guys want more information on that please check out their website down below they also have a membership program where you can redeem points it also has their one year warranty and then they also have a jewelry care guide each item comes with a mesh blue satin bag so you can protect your jewelry and then i think i'm actually going to be using this so let's open the necklace together i was so excited i already opened the bracelet but i'll show you guys a close-up of it so the necklace comes in this gorgeous box i went ahead and picked out oh my gosh just a beautiful diamond necklace as you guys can see just really really simple i'm gonna leave the details on the screen if it's a 16 inch 18 inch etc really pretty and this necklace comes with one of those clasps that like you have to clasp on both ends if you guys can see so this is their 4.5 millimeter round cut tennis necklace and this is in sterling silver y'all this necklace retails for $108, but using my coupon code, you can get it cheaper. So if you have someone whose birthday is coming up, anniversary, whatever, go ahead and check out Italo Jewelry and purchase them some gifts, y'all. This is so pretty. Definitely going to be my favorite necklace so far. It is so bright and beautiful, and I can easily confuse it for like a 14 karat diamond necklace. 10 out of 10, y'all. The quality is superb, as y'all can see. But this is a round cut tennis bracelet. This is also in a white sterling silver as well. This retails for $116 and I'm telling y'all the quality is impeccable. The camera is not picking up the quality of this bracelet y'all. I mean you can see it from a mile away because the quality and the clarity is just so beautiful and so bright. But I'll leave Italo Jewelry link down below like I said if you guys are interested. And thank you so much to Italo Jewelry for sponsoring today's video welcome back to the vlog um first i want to say thank you for a hundred thousand thank y'all so much i don't know y'all make y'all make not just y'all you guys Kyrie is sleeping please don't wake up you guys Kyrie, and god make life feel like how do i say y'all make life feel like all things are attainable to me i don't know if that makes sense Cause a lot of times I'm in my head, I'm like, I'll never get a hundred K or like, like this girl wrote me, she was like, Oh, um, I want to start a YouTube, but I mean, like you're pretty and I'm ugly. So I feel like I'm not gonna girl. What looks like I got nothing to do with a girl. Um, but anywho's, I remember in the beginning when I started my YouTube channel and I wore glasses and I had my little gap and my little whatever. My little, oh, I did not like the way I looked. And I, I was actually scared. I was like, I don't know if 
I'm going to be attractive enough. At this time, BBLs were emerging. They weren't, they had just came out at the time that I started YouTube, which was 2014, 15. BBLs were just being found out about. So um, I, always, I always felt like, oh, if I don't have a nice body or if I don't, I don't have that gorgeous white veneer smile or whatever. I don't know. I just, I always doubted myself and it feels really good to be here at this moment. Like I said, you guys, God and Kyrie make life feel like anything that is in my vision and my path, I can get it if I work hard. So just wanted to tell y'all that, that I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Um, I'm about to heat up this leftover shit from yesterday. I went to Cheddar's yesterday. The day I hit 100K, which is yesterday, I was at like 99,990. And it kept going from like 95 to 90. Like it kept going up and down. And I was like, you know what? Um, instead of sitting in this house driving yourself crazy, get up. Get Kyrie and go just go out to eat, just sit down, vibe, don't rush. Cause I'm I have like this really rush mentality. I don't know. I forgot to keep doing that. But um, I don't know. When I go out to eat, I just be feeling like they bought the clothes or something. I don't know. But I did get me a New Orleans pasta to go. I should have said no mushrooms because I don't like mushrooms, but I also never liked onions and my palate is really changing. I love onions. Like I told you, that stir fry I made. <laughs> Perfect. But yeah, I'm about to hit up this food and guess what, girl, it's Monday, which means tomorrow morning the trash got coming, so I have to take out the trash tonight. I just woke up, me and Kyrie be in this shit, not the fuck. When I tell you me and him be sleeping here, child, we be sleeping here. When I tell you sleep, we be tired. Literally, I woke up first, he didn't even wake up yet, but I'm about to plate it into something else. Don't mind my dirty house, child. This is my little fit. Skim stop. With these leggings that I got from Target, if y'all remember a couple vlogs back. Just comfortable. Yeah. Um, I'm really alarmed that I'm not getting skinnier and I'm only getting bigger. But I mean, I haven't been eating the healthiest, so I can't really blame it on pregnancy. I mean, I guess it does take time, so. I'm trying. I'm trying not to make noise because he's sleeping. One thing that I love about Mace two, is, is two things he always gonna do. Three things. He gonna always have a fresh set of dishes in the dishwasher. He gonna always have uh, carry bottles clean and ready for me. And he gonna always take the trash out. That's one thing about Mace I'm gonna give him. Yes, he is. And I don't even know if you can microwave this plate. But it's 2024. These plates, all these plates is microwave the chair. And I don't want this stale ass bread. I got mushrooms in it. I hate mushrooms. Hopefully I don't confuse the mushrooms. Oh, and it got shrimp. Damn. I don't like reheated shrimp. That shit don't be hitting the same. So y'all, I have run out of space in the diaper genie for Kyrie's diapers. So real quick, I just threw his little poopy diapers in the trash. Girl, when I tell you that she got the whole house stink. Child, get you a diaper genie if you don't have one. My God. I gotta take this trash out now. This house smells like straight doo. -doo. Y'all, I don't woke, I mean, I don't spoke Kyrie into waking up. I want to do a um, garage cleanup so bad, like it's bad in here. Let me, this is Kyrie clothes I have to fold and organize in his room, child. I can't leave my mom, bro. 
ain't too bad in here. Look, y'all. It's not too bad. It don't look too bad. I'm tripping. I must have cleaned it up a little bit. Those boxes right there gotta go out. Hey guys, so it's like a couple days later, y'all. I ain't been doing nothing. Y'all know me. Um, right now, Kyrie is sleeping in the car seat because um, I'm like packing our stuff up ready to go. They called me, said our photos are ready. What else? Um, it was something else I had to do. I want to go get my nails done because these shits need to be done. Like I got one broken. I think I'm just going to do the French tip that I got on my toes. And I used to go to this one nail salon, but now... I know exactly what nail salon I'm gonna start going to. It's real beautiful, it's right by my house. I don't know why I never saw it. Like I never, I don't know, one plus one ain't two. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get my lip waxed, eyebrows waxed as well. Um, but I gotta wash these bottles real quick because we got glass bottles. Can y'all tell me, all the moms out there, what's the purpose or the benefit, let me not be too loud, of glass bottles? Cause we have glass bottles, but it's not like he's at the age where he's gonna throw it. So, well, he may be, but he doesn't throw nothing. So, yeah. These are the Philips event ones. I use the Dr. Brown ones, but they started to leak out of nowhere. I don't know what the fuck is going on with those, but I still use them, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna do a review on Instagram or something because them shits is, they be leaking like hell. And then I moved him on to the number two nipple because he was on the number one nipple. But it's like before, like if he would fall asleep or if he would drop his bottle or whatever, the formula would have pour out. Now I'm on the number two nipple and the formula is just pouring out, going to waste. Hell no, nah. so. So we finally transitioned to the Infamil Gentle Ease, y'all. We um, used to use the Similac, the blue one, and then we realized he was really gassy. So then we started using the Sensitive Similac the orange one and then i don't know he really didn't like it so we finally made the decision to wean him slowly wean him off the orange similac and go to the infamil gentle ease this is expensive i will tell y'all this i will i will i will tell y'all this if you're watching and you know you want to be a mom and they're like oh well uh they say having a baby is expensive let me tell you what's the most expensive part about having a baby the formula the formula the diapers, you can kind of stretch diapers a little bit, you know? You, you can kind of stretch it. You can't stretch formula. When your baby's hungry, your baby's hungry. So I would say the most expensive thing about having a baby as of, you know, the infant stage is the formula. And I don't understand why formula is so expensive. This tub, this is 27 ounces, is $50. And I just opened it yesterday. And I, he'll probably go through it within... Maybe a week. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It just, I just feel like I buy it way too often, if that makes sense. So, we're going to do a calm six ounces. I wanted to um, go get my nails done first, but it's literally like, I think about to be four, 3 or 4 p.m. And I have not ate today. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. I also, like I didn't tell y'all, I'm on birth control. I told y'all I got the implant on in my arm and I've been feeling mad nauseous. I'm like, am I pregnant? And I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not trying to do no clickbait. I'm like, yo, dead ass, am I pregnant, bro? But I don't know. Let me rinse this off. Follow me. All right, you guys, we're back home. I'm about to show y'all um, make sure I'm in focus. Yeah, I'm about to show you guys a few things that I picked up. I did go to Sephora. I got some stuff from Sephora. 
I want to show you guys my Easter photos and I need to show you guys the sneakers that I got from Linga Kicks. I'll leave them linked down below if y'all are interested. I picked out some Travis Scott Dunks in the size, yeah, USA 7, which is a seven in boys, eight and a half in women's. These are real cute, y'all. Y'all, so these are the sneakers that I got from Linga Kick. Like I showed y'all, it comes in a brown and white box. Comes with their information. Y'all can go ahead and screenshot that if y'all want. They'll also be linked down below. They sent me some socks as well. Some Nike socks. And then these are the sneakers. Oh, they also sent me a little keychain. Real cute to add on my keys. These are the Travis Scott sneakers. Just comes with some pink tissue paper. Okay, y'all, so these are the sneakers. These are the Travis Scott's. What are they called? I'll leave the name of the sneakers down below, but these are the sneakers, y'all. These are um, like a light olive brown, olive green, excuse me, olive green and white sneaker. One side has a black check, other side has a white check, and then it just says Jack. Same design as the black um, Travis Scott's that I have already that I still haven't worn. And then the tongue says golf, if y'all can see. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. And then the back just says Air Jordan. I know these already fit me, so. But yeah, the black check is on the outside and the white check is on the inside. This is real cute. Let me go ahead and throw these on. Comment down below. Do y'all be leaving these shits in y'all uh, shoes? Let me know, because I don't. my fit today oh i should have wore these oh i should have wore these y'all these are how they look you guys real cute on the feet i legit could have wore these today but girl i don't know but if you guys are interested in checking out linga kick i'll leave them linked down below so you can get you some affordable sneakers and let's go ahead and get back to the vlog all right y'all i'm gonna show you guys what i got from sephora i kept seeing this brand everywhere i kept seeing it and because it's at sephora i thought it was very expensive it's called the ordinary pretty sure you guys have seen this all over the blood clot internet i'm sure um yeah pretty sure you guys have seen this over the internet so i was just walking with Kyrie, and i was like let me just go try and see how much they cost and they're actually affordable they're they kind of remind me of good molecules i have a lot of good molecules but i'm gonna I'm test this brand out and see what the fuck going on so I picked up the glycolic acid 7% exfoliating toner. That's what it looks like. This was like $13. They say if you want light armpits and light in the thigh, knees, elbows, that you can put, you can use this. I don't know. I, mean, I don't really be living the internet, but we're going to see. I'm going to try this out and let y'all know. This was like $13. Next, I picked up some more hyaluronic acid. Right now, I'm using the one from Good Molecules, but I ran out, so I have probably have like two drops left. So I was like, okay, I'll just pick up the one from The Ordinary. This was pretty cheap as well. That's what it looks like. Your typical little skooky skook. Should not have focused anyways. And then another thing I picked up is the Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density. Y'all know my fucking hairline is literally receding like I'm LeBron James. It is what it is. It's postpartum, whatever. I thought it was supposed to happen initially after I had the baby, but girl, it's been three months and I guess it creeps up at month three. So y'all know right here, my hairline is disappearing. Um, I want to get braids, but clearly I'm not going to get braids because anybody's going to be laughing at them little holes right here. That's a little thin. So I've seen this, haven't heard about it, but I was like, I'm going to pick it up anyway. It was pretty cheap as well. It says it's a concentrated serum for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller, and healthier. So we'll see. I don't know. Minanua. Next, I picked up their lactic acid, 10%. This says it is good for Minanua. I don't know. It was cheap. I like serums, so I bought the shit. Um, but I'm going to find out what it's good for 
if y'all use this before comment down below let me know and then the last thing i got was the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus beta glucine it's a moisturizer okay i got this as well this was pretty <laughs> affordable too surprisingly because i always thought that it would be like a million dollars because it just looks expensive and sephora costs mad fucking money like I'm done. I barely go to Sephora. I probably go to Sephora like once a year. Bitch, I'm never going back. Anywho's, um, then I picked up the Makeup by Mario Foundation. I picked up the color 16C, 16 Charlie. Because if y'all watch my YouTube lives, then y'all would know. What the fuck? Why is this crooked? If y'all watch my YouTube lives, y'all would know my foundation is always too dark. So I was like, let me see if I could mm, it still look a little too dark. Well, I tried a color match in the store and it looked fine. So pick this up hopefully it works good and then i picked up these two concealers from sephora's brand they were very cheap um i picked up the best skin ever glow multi-purpose concealer in a luminous finish i picked up a shade for me to conceal which is a 26 and then i picked up a shade for me to contour which is a 37 so the contour i don't be wanting to look like i got punched in the face you remember my old makeup looks i used to look like i got punched in the face then I picked up this Lang. This shit gonna piss me off. I picked up this Lang G, Lang G, whatever, however you pronounce it. It's a lip balm. It's a lip glowy balm. I have it on right now. And it is in the color or scent peach, right? I expected it to smell like peach, taste like peach. Bitch, it don't taste like nothing. And it don't smell like nothing. And this was $18. And it is so little. Like, y'all probably can't tell like it's so tiny for 18 dollars. i don't think i'm just gonna stick to the topicals one because what the fuck y'all see it's like you put on vaseline like i'd rather you just sell just one with no color like it don't it's nothing peachy about this so i will not be rebuying this all right off to the easter photos before i let y'all go for the day here are our Easter photos. I got a, well, let me show you the big one. I got them in like different sizes. I got this size. I don't even know why I got them so big. I don't know why I got this one so big. I had to pay extra for this one. Like the fuck? I had to pay extra for this one. But this is my favorite one because it just shows how much I love my chubby wubby bubbas. And he's over there sleeping. I want to wake him up and just eat him. And then we got some small ones. This is him, my bubba. Pretty sure you guys have already seen this on my Instagram, but still. Do people still do photo albums? Because I want to. I just don't know where to buy one at. See y'all, real cute. Real, real, real cute. And I kind of want to give some to family. I don't know if I should mail it or what, but damn, I look good. Do y'all see how good I look in this? Well, don't mind my fucking just. I hate closure wigs. I feel like they look mad wiggy. Like, I don't, I don't know, girl. And then the baby hair mad little, like, but, okay, just don't mind the top right here, y'all. But, you know, it's giving, body giving. Hi, guys. So, it's the next day, and I'm so slow, I almost missed his appointment, you guys. I thought Kyrie's appointment for his shots was tomorrow, but it's today. Thank God I looked at the time and noticed. So, that's what we're getting ready for. I already changed him. He is good. He got on his little uh, Jordan uh, onesie that I bought him the other day. I don't even know if I showed it to y'all, but he got that on. Um, and right now I'm about to just shower. I'm probably going to throw that bob on. Fucking. <laughs> I'm probably going to throw the bob on and get ready. And I really wanted to try those products that I showed y'all yesterday. The little ordinary shits. I want to try them out. So that's what I'm going to do. Y'all have seen me get ready way too many times. So we're not going to do that in today's video. But I just wanted to come and start off and let y'all know. He's going to get his shots in today's vlog, and I'm not going to cry because I have to be a thug for my baby. But I am more than likely going to vlog it probably on my phone because, you know, they probably ain't having that shit. You know, army doctors, they don't be want nobody to know that they don't really know what the fuck they're doing. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what I'm wearing. It's hot outside per usual. I don't know. I, I feel like my belly's going down. What y'all think? I feel like my belly is going down. What y'all think, y'all? Because if not, <laughs> I'm going to the DR. I ain't got time for this. I, I Life's too short for me not to be liking how I look. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hurry up and get ready. 
I'm really excited to try these products, bitch. The way they be talking about it, I need my skin to tingle. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. And I'll see y'all when it's time to pick out the outfit because bitch, I don't know what I'm wearing. I'm sweating just from putting this shit on. Make it make sense. It's a little jade away to fit. I got it in a size large. I don't know. The quality of the top is real thick. That's why I didn't want to wear it. God damn. It's like fighting trying to put that shit on. So that's what I'm wearing. Jada Wada, Jada Wada. I wanna be Jada Wada, Jada Wada. That's what I'm wearing, y'all. I don't know what shoes. I might wear my little Linga kick shoes. Minanua. And I'm putting that bob on because I can't go to my son's shot. I'm putting my looking like this. And I am getting his ears pierced. Just not in this vlog because I want a maze to be there. What's going on? Show them your outfit, Kai Kai. This is my outfit, my jump man outfit. Mommy bought me. Mommy made my room a mess. She got to clean it up. Then my outfit, and I got to put on some sockies. Cut my baba's feet. Oh my god, I just want to eat your feet. You okay? I'm sorry that I left you. I just had to shower. Oh, now you're not talking to me. You can't even look at me. Okay. You mad at me? I just had to shower. You want me to go in this man like fish and eggs? Listen, you gonna start being nice to your aunties and uncles. Hey guys, I'm Kai Kai. Right, oh, you was crying, salty tears. All right, y'all. So I got some Jesus chicken real quick. I'm about to eat. Kyrie is sleeping, as y'all can see. So I'm just trying to hurry up before we have to go inside. Right now it is 1.28 and the appointment's at 2. So I still got some time to eat. So I'm trying to hurry up before he wake up because he was just crying. And my ass almost had to go to Hey, the guys. So I didn't vlog him getting his shots because it was so much going on. He was crying. I didn't even think to pull out my phone. I was on FaceTime with Mace. Like, it was just a lot, you guys. But he did really well. I think he cried for like maybe like 45 seconds. And then he, um, I gave him the bottle. He cried a little bit more, but he did really good. He did way better than I thought he would. But I don't know. Kyrie's a real chill baby. Everyone at the um, doctor's office was saying that. My mom said it today. Like, he's such a chill baby. He only cries when he's hungry. I swear to God, he just be chilling. Like, he don't really... I mean, he might cry if he want to be near me, but that's really it. So I'm sorry. I just want to come and tell y'all that I'm sorry for not vlogging it. I know y'all probably wanted to see that footage so bad, but it was a lot going on. And y'all got to remember, I don't go to the typical doctor's office, you guys. I go to like, you know, you know, military shit. So a lot of times I don't even let you record. They didn't even want me to record my labor and delivery. Thank God my friend was there with the incognito camera, that DJI, because she got the fucking job done. And someone did actually say something to me. Um... I wonder if I showed you my fat ass nails. Someone did actually say something to me about, you know, the recording. But I ain't record, so don't lock me up. Lock her up. Y'all can't find her anyway. She in Africa, so. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I am very overwhelmed right now. The house is a mess. I feel like a mess. I look like a mess. My hairline is going further and further back. Postpartum is crazy, y'all. Like, it's literally like, even if I wanted to get braids, it's going to be so obvious that my hairline is cooked. So, I mean, I ain't ashamed about it. I really don't give a fuck. I'll throw a wig on. Um, but my house is a mess. I'm going to be transparent and show y'all how messy my house is. Um, I am also going to go ahead and clean. I got three hours on this memory card and y'all finna get some, y'all finna watch me clean. I have to fold Kyrie's clothes and tidy up his room. His room ain't too bad, but I mean, he's a baby. So if it's bad, it's because of me. Um, I got to tidy up his room and here looks, I feel like I clean this room every three days and it just gets bad. My mom was like, why do you clean every day? And I'm just like, it's just overwhelmed. You guys, if I wake up and I see shit everywhere, I get very overwhelmed. I have a nasty attitude for the day. Like I have to clean. That's one thing about me. I bitch, I'm always cleaning. Um, but during my pregnancy, girl, I don't know. I was real depressed. So Kyrie is sleeping. Hopefully he stays asleep. Every time that I say that he wakes up, I feel like I'm jinxing it. I will show you guys his room first, okay? So, his room, not too bad. It just, you know, needs to be tidied up right here. These are clothes that need to be washed. Clothes that need to go in the dirty hamper also need to be washed. And then we just got some stuff up here and whatever. Just these need to be washed as well. Then we got shit everywhere. I'm being fully transparent. I'm showing y'all the real. Girl, my laundry room. 
that's as close as clean that I need to fold. Like, it's just stuff everywhere. That's my shit. That's clean that I need to fold. These are all the clothes that I need to either give away or throw away. Don't have any more space for this clothing rack, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. And then this is the messy kitchen. Okay. We got a tripod here. What the fuck is this tripod doing here? I was filming a Sephora reel that got barely any views, but it's okay. We just got mess everywhere, y'all. Y'all see that bag right there? Oh, my God. He got two dirty diapers in there, and I swear to God, if y'all came in here, y'all would pass out. That shit stink, and I'm about to take it out right now. That's the first thing I'm going to do, because I can't take mm -mm. Um, I got some stuff. I'll show y'all these real quick. These are going to be a separate video, but... I mean, who gives a damn? I got some glasses. Just showing y'all real quick. Got some glasses. I got some cute slides. Oh, girl, are you dumb? And then I also got me a little bag. But y'all will see that later. But y'all see, it's just really cluttered because all of these are clean. I have to run the dish. Bitch, I got shit to do. It's dirty over there. Like, life is just life in right now. So... seven o'clock in the morning i don't even know why i'm up but yesterday you know i was trying to do like a little clean with me and things got very overwhelming for me um Kyrie was being really fussy and i'm not used to that he's not a fussy baby he doesn't cry much unless it's like he's hungry or something but yesterday i was trying to do a clean with me and girl it just wasn't given you know so i had to just stop what i was doing i had to stop filming stop folding clothes and just tend to my baby because yesterday was overwhelming yesterday like i be good some days i'm not gonna lie to y'all fully transparent i be good to, hey lulu i be good some days but then some days i just get sad out of nowhere not or sometimes not sad what's up or sometimes lulu wants to say hi or sometimes not sad but just overwhelmed and feeling helpless if that makes sense so oh Kyrie's up so this morning i decided to wake up early because i have a lot of things to do today today is friday april 5th 4th i don't remember 5th tomorrow i'm tomorrow my giveaway will be done i don't know when you guys are going to see this video but the giveaway i did a giveaway on instagram and i'm giving away a breast pump um a postpartum kit bottom sterilizer baby monitor i'm giving away so much stuff brand new that I have in excess that I could have sold, but I was like, nah, let me just give it away. Y'all have gave so much to me, so let me put it back into the universe. So I have a giveaway on my Instagram that's going on, and it'll be three winners, and hopefully whoever wins is, you know, happy and grateful. So what's up, baby? Because you're doing a lot. So this morning I'm making my little... All right, let me let you go, because you're not even letting me talk. What's up? Say hi to them, because you're fiending, guy. Hi, guys. Hi guys. Ooh. 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 Lulu. Alright, come on. She just wants to go outside, y'all. Just making a mess outside. Ooh, my grass guy did a good job, child. He did a very good job. Okay, so you got the same food from yesterday that you didn't eat. 
Ooh, it's chilly. Ooh, you sure you want to be out there? Go, boo, boo. Go, boo, boo. Anywho's, y'all, I just feel like when you're up at night, Kyrie is about to start crying. When you're up at night in your thoughts, maybe it's just God trying to talk to you, or maybe it's God telling you need telling you that you need to talk to him. Either way, I'm not, I'm doing all right. I need to stop speaking like sadness over me. I'm doing okay. So I'm about to just make breakfast real quick and listen to some TV Jakes because I don't know, TV Jakes, he just got that. I don't know, he just, something about him just makes me feel, you know, like, I don't know, I just love his sermons. Um, The whole TV Jakes and Diddy thing, I don't believe it, but regardless if it's true or not, I just feel like it's not our business. Like I told you on the last vlog, so. I'm gonna just do two boiled eggs today and um you know it's a little bit of bacon and then I'm also gonna do um a little fiber drink and then I'm gonna drink my liquid iron because I didn't tell y'all but I bought some liquid iron. What's going on with these blinds? Like why they like that? What the fuck fix? <laughs> I'm trying to be intentional. I'm trying to wake up early and be intentional about my day because eventually the maternity leave is going to end and my ass is going to have to go back to work. So, yeah.